can see which oh my god, my boyfriend will stop, please! Do you want an ambulance? No! My boyfriend, no! Hello? Hello? Oh, ambulance is like... I need help, I need help, I need help, I need help! It was weird that night because I couldn't sleep. It's like I knew something wasn't right. At first, I just thought it was Felicia. So my heart dropped and I was like, what? And then I was told. And then I was relieved. Naturally, it's my sister. It isn't here. The night our cousin died, my mum phoned me instead of home and she said, Kyla, gone. The family liaison officer said a female had been arrested. So straight away we did know that was Fraisha. You were arrested this morning? Yeah. OK. The interview is being recorded at Wayland Street Police Station. It's maybe given an evidence if your case is brought to trial, Fray. I just want to talk about Kyle and about your relationship with him. So I've known Kyle since I was five. I was at the same primary school. I got with him when he was 16, 17. He would be loving. He'd be the one to cuddle me first and kiss me first. When it was good, it was good. It was a good dad as well. He had a cheeky character. But Kyle was really, really shy as a person. Because how shy Kyle was, I didn't think he would even be able to speak to the girl. So when he, my mum did say that he was with someone, it was like, God, that's a shock. <laughs> I don't really know whether it was planned, but he put it on social media, like, over the moon, uh, I'm having a little girl. It was the happiest time of his life. He was really good parents. And I don't think anyone can say that he wasn't. The kids was well looked after. After she had the first baby, straight away she got pregnant again. She wanted to move out. She said she needed her own space and everything, and she was going to move in with Kyle, and they were going to be a proper family. And I said, okay, obviously. He was always, 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 always ringing her, messaging her constantly, and I just thought, well, he really loves her, you know. Um, he wouldn't leave her alone. And you mentioned about the good things. What what were the bad things? He'd have big arguments and stuff. He'd scream in my face. Um, he'd never hit me or not only push me. It'd be more so me. I'd slap him or I don't know, I'd scratch him or grab him when he's been in my face. Once we was in Kyle's mum's um, and I'd seen scratches down his neck and I literally just made the comment, are you getting bullied? And he just done a smirk to me and said, see you later. I know they was from here. I will never sit and make him out to be an angel and she was all a bad one. But when it comes to this, I do know that Kyle was the victim in it. It was early in the afternoon and she had one of the girls in the pram. I'd seen a mark on her face and I asked her what it was about. I asked her where she got it from. Um, she told, she tried to brush it off. She said she'd knocked her face and I just said, I know you're lying to me. I don't know, I think. Been in violence. That it is violent towards me and I can't allow it. Yeah, he was, he was violent towards me. Um, he got control and they're telling me to get in at certain times. Judges have agreed to allow Fry to bring a full challenge to her conviction after her lawyers told them there is fresh medical evidence relating to her mental state at the time of the killing. Hopefully, this is the last fight and we'll get it out. If it doesn't, God forbid, go the way we want it. I'll never go fighting for her. I never will.
nothing. So when I bring Kyle back, we understand that. With that appeal coming up, if there's anyone out come we want for Fraisha. And that's to stay behind bars.